Good morning, it's Wednesday, August 23rd, and I have some updates for you really quick, starting with Lahaina. We've heard reports that people were stuck in a roadblock on Front Street and that it is possible that people perished in their cars waiting to be let out of that area on August 8th. In all the postings on my community wall this week, I have shown you a bike trip, drone shots, and other um, survivor stories. I've also provided you with the best information for help for Maui residents who are displaced. I'll continue to do that. However, I want you to really look at this picture. I will leave the guy's link in the description. He got drone footage of people at burned out cars on August 12th. It's part of a series of drone footage. I don't know how long the individual clips are, but this one is less than two minutes. In the posts that are on my community wall, we've seen burned out buildings and down power lines and trees, you know, incinerated, but we have not seen an actual clip of burned out cars on Front Street until this drone series. So now we have, or at least I have, documented evidence that there were cars that did burn out on Front Street in Lahaina. They've all been removed by now, and that's why you don't see them in the middle of the street in other coverage on my community wall. Abrupt change of subject, moving on. I have literally been sitting here waiting for about an hour and a half for sun to rise so I can finish filming a little bit of Sunday's paper dyeing series where we spend a lot of money comparatively to dye some paper blue. The first part of Sunday's episode talks a lot about the price of buying dye for what is recycled paper to make handmade paper and some safety concerns. So if you are not interested in any of that on Sunday, skip ahead about five minutes. I was in a panic earlier this morning when I went to look for Sunday's show, which is almost all done, and I could not find the video. I did end up finding it, but it got buried in both Lahaina coverage and a special show that I am helping to produce on Nana's Angels for game night on Saturday night. If you would like to be involved in a mock case of a missing person, join us on Saturday night for that episode. I'll leave you a link to her channel in the show notes. I have not forgotten about, nor am I ignoring my commitment to the missing. Summer Wells is still missing from Rogersville, Tennessee, the Beach Creek community. She was last seen on June 15th, 2021. At that time, she was about four feet tall and about 35 to 38 pounds. She had very short blonde hair, was wearing a pink shirt and gray pants or shorts, possibly barefoot. Any information you can provide to, as to her whereabouts, please call one 800 T B I find Tamira and Iris Perez sisters 15 and 13 respectively are still missing out of my own state. And if you have any information on their whereabouts, please call Ross common police at nine, eight, nine, two, seven, five, five, one, zero, one. I brought you the update last week that Tamara and Iris are now listed on the FBI most wanted list as kidnapped persons. They do not have an Amber Alert. I don't do this very often, but I'm going to today. Please like and comment on the videos and the, especially the community wall posts. It helps this channel be seen more widely. 
and I hope the information that is needed gets to the people who can actually act on that information. YouTube tells me that I should be making these kinds of appeals in the middle of my video where they're more likely to be seen. However, I'm so focused on giving you accurate information or the, my best opinion based on fact that I often forget. So today I am reminding you that liking, commenting, and sharing helps this channel. God bless you. See you real soon.